Hello Capricorn. Capricorn, welcome to your reading. As usual, we're going to be looking at the messages that you need to know at this present moment in time. As usual, please do remember to invite your intuition to be available as I'm doing your readings because your intuition will elaborate on the messages that you're receiving so that this reading becomes powerful and it becomes personal. So we're going to pop those cards to one side and we're going to be seeing what is here. Okay, so take what is resonating with you, leave behind anything that is not for you. We're going to be getting our tarot cards to elaborate on the messages that are on the table. As I'm getting our tarot cards, I want to remind you that we have our full moon in Aries on the 29th of September and we always do our candle magic ceremonies on those days. So please do come and enjoy me and join me rather on that full moon where we're going to be saying our prayers, where we are going to be planting our seeds of intentions, where we are going to be communicating with the divine about what it is that you are wanting to bring into your life. Okay, so everything that you need to know connected to the Aries full moon is linked in the description box below. I do cord cutting ceremonies, banishing ceremonies, return to sender. I do honey jars to call in the good things in life and to manifest your desires. There's a lot that is linked on the description box below on my website. So go and be curious and see what it is that is appealing to you. And I look forward to working with you. So we now have all our cards on the table. Now Capricorn, there's a lot that is on the cards, okay? Especially connected to this card that is here, okay? Let's get the challenging messages out of the way so that we can jump into the good, juicy messages that are here for you. So the divine is saying that for some of you, there is just a feeling where the vibe is off. Something is not quite right. The divine is saying to you that it is important for you to understand that when the vibe is off, it is off for a reason and it is important for you not to silence your intuition, but rather invite your intuition to sit down with you so that you can ask more questions, so that you can ask your intuition exactly what you are not seeing. Because I always remind you that your intuition is there to protect you. Your intuition is there. As, as a light to the blind spots that you're currently not seeing. Because the divine is saying to you, having received the energies of the five of swords, having received the energies of the five of wands, there is definitely something that is not quite right. Because the energies of the number five bring chaos. The energies of the number five bring that destruction. So the number five of swords, there's something that is weighing heavy on your mind. For some of you, you're just going round and round in circles, overthinking maybe a situation. For some of you, maybe you didn't listen. You didn't see the red flags when your guides were telling you that, hey, the vibe is off. You carried on regardless. And so for some of you, you're starting to see that people are throwing you under the bus. People are blaming you for something. There's just something that is going on here. Because you have the five of wands that is here as well. The number five of wands is about petty arguments. Okay, so there's just something that has been going round and round in circles for a long time. The five of wands is about competition. The five of wands is just about almost like that energy of just wanting to tear each other down. So you just could be experiencing a tit and tat type of situation. Someone really wants to throw you under the bus, like I said. And the divine is saying it is okay because your instincts will be ringing that alarm bell. And not only is the vibe off, the divine is saying trust your instincts because out of the blue, someone is going to come in and they are going to throw you under the bus. So please don't get caught unaware. Don't get caught off guard. So the divine is saying, remove that blindfold, see things for what they are. When the vibe is off, sit down and ask yourself, why is the vibe off? And as you're starting to understand, the divine is saying that there is just something unexpected. So for some of you, maybe some people are plotting against you. Some people are gossiping about you. 
they're trying to create some type of drama filled situation and because the divine is giving you a heads up when they are trying to do something you are going to be ready for their action and you are going to be catching them in the act and you're going to get the evidence that you need so the divine is saying that there's just something fishy that is going on here okay be really mindful be really aware because for you again is a similar type of message that has been going on for quite some time for you guys because the divine is saying that you've got bigger fish to fry you've got new beginnings that are here you've got exciting new chapters that are there and the zero card is about that new beginning being a major arcana card the full card is really emphasizing that there are new chapters that are on the horizon so this is why, again, the divine is saying to you, you cannot be caught off guard. You cannot be getting involved in some situations that are being orchestrated to bring your vibration down. We've already spoken about this and the divine keeps emphasizing this message again and again. So there's, there's just really something that is going on that maybe for some of you not believing because maybe someone is presenting themselves as nice, as wonderful, but if you lift up that mask, you're going to see that they are a fox, they are a wolf disguised as a little lamb, as a little sheep. Okay, so the divine is saying, don't take something at face value. And for some of you, it's going to be important to look after your online presence, to look after your bank accounts, maybe even going and changing the passwords. Because for some of you, you could be caught in some type of fight. You trying to prove your identity. You trying to prove that you are who you say you are so you can get your money back. There's just something fishy, dodgy that is going on in the background. And so the divine is saying, change your passwords. At night, lock your doors. Just be very cautious and be very mindful and just don't trust anyone right now. Because like I said, there is an upgrade that is here for you. And these energies that are here are trying to bring your vibration down. So the divine is saying that, listen, okay, you have some exciting new chapters that are unfolding for you in the background. So on the highest polarity, something good is wanting to come in. As indicated by the full card being a major kind of card, this is really holding the weight of this reading. On the lower polarity, there is someone who is coming and wanting to bring your vibration down so that you miss your blessings that are here. So the divine is saying that exciting new chapters that are leading to happy endings are connected to that leap of faith. Take a leap of faith in a new direction. Do something different. And this is going to be bringing in the blessings that we can see on the cards for you. The blessings that we can see are connected to the three of wands okay the three of wands is all about expansion the three of wands is all about growth the three of wands is about your ships your blessings coming in and so the divine is saying when your blessings come in they better find you waiting for them rather than dealing with some toxic type of situation you listened to your instincts you didn't ignore the red flags and because of that, you were able to protect yourself. And because you were able to protect yourself, when it was time for you to receive your blessings, you were here, ready, vibing high. Okay, so the full card is saying that there's a new beginning that is on the cards for you, which is really going to be exciting, which is going to be leading to some happy endings. So I really love this energy that is here. But of course, be really mindful of this challenging energy that is also present. If you really trust yourself, if you really lean into your instinct, if you ask your guides, your ancestors, the divine to assist you, to help you, to ring the alarm bell loud and clear, so that you are not missing anything, you're going to be seeing that you can really divert yourself from this situation that can unfold and catch you unaware. Okay, our last oracle card on the table. We really have been talking about our intuition and the divine is saying, if you follow your intuition, this is going to be leading to your luck. So follow your intuition and you're going to be seeing that the more you do that, the luckier you get. The divine told you already to trust your instincts. 
the more you trust your instincts, the more you're going to be able to see that you are in the right place at the right time. You are able to activate this new beginning that is here because the zero is really connected to your intuition because the zero, your guides and your ancestors are taking that leap of faith with you and some of them are ready to catch you as you are falling. So your guides and your ancestors are saying to you, it is important for you as you're going in this new chapter, in this new beginning, in this new beginning that is here to understand that you have to lean in to your instincts, fall in the hands of your instincts and your intuition. And if you do that, the rest is going to just be good. The rest is going to be leading to this happy ending that we have already spoken about. So Capricorn, this is the message that I have for you. Remember of our full moon celebration on the 29th of September. I look forward to working with you. And again, all the information that you need to know about that ceremony is linked in the description box below. On that note, it is a goodbye from me.